Yo guys, what's up and I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm gonna talk about the new patch notes of the new update in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, featuring the Johnny buff and a lot of different bug fixes. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'd really appreciate that. And now let's get into it. First up, Danny permanently opening fuse exit door. We have fixed an issue where Danny could tamper with the fuse box and permanently open the exit door. They previously said that this was not intended and tampering with the fuse box should lead to a timer on top of the already existing cooldown timer. So it's not supposed to be permanently open, that was a bug and now it's fixed. Next up, fixed UI for Leatherface Saw Wrap. We resolved an issue that would show the incorrect amount of overheat stall status on the new ref meter for Leatherface's chainsaw. According to the devs, this was leading to the overheating problems a lot of Leatherface players ran into, so it was really easy to overheat the chainsaw. Uh, let me know down in the comments if this issue is solved now or if it's still happening. Next we got invincible hiding victims. We have fixed an exploit where victims could become invincible after being pulled from a hiding spot while in the animation of entering it. Next up we got overlooked perk. The overlooked perk had an issue where all charges would be instantly consumed and that is now fixed. Crawl spaces and barbed wire. An issue has been resolved that caused victims to not trip barbed wire traps on crawl spaces. Nancy should now be able to trip crawl spaces and have all the normal functionality when a victim triggers it. Looks like there was some kind of bugs. I played a lot of Nancy myself and I didn't notice any bug but I'm glad that they fixed that. Next, Nancy's house well stuck spot. We have fixed a stuck spot on Nancy's house that would trap victims after using a well. The well is located near the sunflowers in the front yard. Maybe you've already seen that bug when you went down the well in the front yard. Um, there was a stuck spot where you would be stuck and would not be able to move until the game was over. So this sounds really annoying and I'm glad they fixed it as well. Next, we have Danny tampering with car battery. We have fixed an issue that would make the car battery unusable if Danny tampered with it while it was turned off. Again, never seen this bug myself but it's good that they fix it because this really sounds game breaking. Sliding door animation skip. Fix an issue where the animation of opening a sliding door would be skipped if hit while in the animation. Next fixed linger level 3. We have fixed an issue with Sissy's linger perk at level 3. The issue was causing players to become marked for the remainder of the match. <laughs> Never noticed this myself because I didn't use linger. Good that they fixed that as well. What else do we got? Uh, next up is missing window jump audio. A couple of missing audio issues have been resolved for window jumps. One was the window jump on Nancy's house and one was the window jump on family house. Repeat electroshock grid on Nancy's house. We have fixed an issue where if entering a powered on cattle grid on Nancy's house from a specific angle, it would repeatedly shock the player. Well, that sounds like a fun experience. <laughs> that's fixed as well, that's, so that's that's good. Um, next up we got stack spot on trophy room. Fix a stack spot for family in the trophy room on Nancy's house. I bet there are a ton of stack spots and at least they fix one of them, right? <laughs> next up scoreboard stuck on screen. This is often an issue that would cause the scoreboard to be stuck on the screen if viewed while spectating. Again, never saw that on my games. Fixed Nancy skill tree incorrectly showing notes unlocked. We have fixed an issue that would show notes unlocked incorrectly, even after a full respec of a tree. <clears throat> yeah, I think I ran into, the, into this problem um, earlier and uh, I was kind of confused what's going on. Fixed Danny skill tree notes server error. Fixed an issue that made the top right of Danny skill tree visible after unlocking any notes. The visible notes would return a server error if selected. Yeah, I, I saw this server error as well on uh, Nancy's skill tree, but um, maybe that's fixed now as well. Oh, we got a lot of fixes today. Next fix is general skill tree node visibility. Fixed a general issue that would make skill tree nodes visible despite not being unlocked or uncovered. Next, Nancy attack audio issue fixed an issue where only the first strike of a combo would have a correct audio play. All right, let's move on. Character swap issues. Fix an issue where character swap requests would choose the wrong character if the character was changed simultaneously. Fix an issue where players could receive swap requests for previous character despite having changed characters. Yeah, that, that was a kind of weird bug that I was encountering as well. But again, nothing, uh, nothing game breaking. Scroll wheel rebinding. Fix an issue that would not allow you to rebind the scroll wheel effectively. Missing connection error message. Fix an issue on some platforms that would cause no message to appear if experiencing a connection error in the main menu, then attempting to access online services. And now finally we're getting to the Johnny changes that you all have been waiting for. We are reverting the changes made to Johnny in the big patch. The hunt ability changes are not being reverted. That means they are reverting the, the lunge changes, which made him unusable because he was not able to lunge at anything anymore. So it should be back to his normal state, but they are not reverting 
the hunter bullet changes. That means that you still cannot track victims that are crouching. So when they start crouching, you will lose the footprint trail. This change affects his lunge speed issues. Johnny is intended to have a lunge. The issue is his speed boost when attacking. In trying to correct that boost, we unintentionally altered his lunge and tweaked his animations. This was not a desirable result and will be reverted. The speed boost will be separated out and worked on at a later date with the intention to not alter his lunge. Right, so they tried to remove the speed boost that he gets from lunging, but by mistake, they really, really fucked up his lunge so that he couldn't lunge anything anymore and it was super weird and super, super weak. He could not hit any, any of his um, lunges. He should be playable again after this patch. Go and enjoy Johnny again. Next up, we got changed, remove barbed wire on ladders. We have made a change to removing barbed wire and the prompt to do so. Previously, you would get a prompt to remove Nancy's barbed wire traps from yourself while on a ladder. This would cause the victim player to become stuck. Wow, this doesn't sound... <laughs> doesn't sound fun at all. You will no longer see a prompt or be able to begin removing barbed wire while using a ladder. Yeah, I can imagine like you're getting hard stuck uh, while in the animation and then trying to do something else. <laughs> Next up, we got community news and DLC main menu banner. We are adjusting the sizing of the banner on the main menu. The banner is now four times larger. What? <laughs> Just kidding, it's slightly smaller and flows better. Okay. Yeah, oh, so they, they put a joke on us here. That's a good one. The size of this banner was like half the freaking screen. That's That was really annoying. Tuned, nuggets, radius, range, duration issues. With the changes made to noise being sticky to victims, we uncovered some issues with various nugget locations. Some nuggets were detecting victims through walls. That has been fixed. Some nuggets were sticking noise pings to victims for far too long. That has been fixed. All right, please continue to report any nugget problems. Yeah, so if you encounter any problems with the chickens, just report them. Alright guys, this sums up the patch notes for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything on a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I see you guys in the next one. Peace.